Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is another TTM video. We'd like to get autographs, TTM, or through the mail. Send your favorite athlete or celebrity, movie star, TV star, a card or a photograph, along with a self-addressed stamped envelope asking for their autograph, and you'll be surprised how many times you get a response. When you do, come to YouTube, share the information so we can all benefit. That's what I like to do, and my channel does it pretty often. We've got five returns today, and we're going to share the information with you, so let's get right to it. First one is coming from San Juan, Puerto Rico, and I believe I know who this is. I don't have many requests out to Puerto Rico, as far as I know, and I've been seeing this person. Other folks get him returned lately, so I assume that's him because he's had it for about a month Should be Juan Gonzalez. And it is. I sent him three cards. Three very nice cards. I like that one with a Puerto Rican flag. Signed it in blue Sharpie. Consistently good signer. I love that card as well. Good color on that. I knew they'd turn out well if he signed and returned. Been waiting, like I said, about a month. It's been 25 days or so. No fee for Juan Gonzalez, but uh, he's 50 years old, outfielder for 16 seasons for several teams, mostly for the Rangers, as you see in those three cards. The big old slugger nicknamed Juan Gone because of his home run hitting ability. Hit 434 lifetime home runs. Hit 40 in a season five times. 100 RBIs or more eight times. Two-time MVP in 96 and 98. Um, was playing his way to the Hall of Fame, I believe, until you know his body kind of broke down. Steroid suspicions. He was mentioned in the Mitchell Report in 2001. Of course, Jose Canseco mentioned him by name in his book, Juiced. So there was a lot of speculation about his early demise. His career kind of fell off rapidly, and he declined pretty quickly. So always steroid rumors swirling around Juan Gonzalez, but I'm glad to have that back. 434 home runs. That was 25 days, no fee for Juan, gone, Juan Gonzalez. Next one's coming from where? Atlanta Metro. We get several requests back from Atlanta Metro. And this is Scott Case. Somebody recently got Scott Case back too, so I was hoping it would come back. Pretty quick return. He's 57 years old now, former free safety, um, 12 seasons, 1984-1995 for the Falcons. Almost all of his career, then he finished up with who? He finished up with the Dallas Cowboys in 1995, where he won a Super Bowl ring. In 1995, when he was reunited with his college football coach, Barry Switzer, who coached him as an All-American at Oklahoma um, very hard hitter, grid player. One time in the Pro Bowl, hit 30 lifetime interceptions. Led the league with 10 in 1988, which is the year, this statistical year here. As you see there, 10 interceptions, 47 yards. He led the, led the NFL in re interceptions that year. So, again, 10 days, no fee for Super Bowl champ, Super Bowl 30 with the Cowboys. Scott Case. On to number three. That's coming from Santa Ana, California. You get a lot of from Santa Ana and Santa Clarita. Oh, this is Jim Everett. Two of two. Old Jim Everett. Been waiting a while for this. Great quarterback. 57 years old as well. Former quarterback for 12 years. 86 to 97. Didn't put either one of them back in the top loader. That's fine. Three teams, mostly for the Rams, as you see here. Also played for the Saints for a couple of seasons, and he finished up his final year with the Chargers. Really good quarterback. Uh, Pro Bowl in 1990. He led the NFL in touchdown passes two times, 88 and 89. Threw 203 touchdown passes in his career. And he's a Rams career passing yards leader. He threw for almost 35,000 yards in his career. Really good quarterback. Glad to have that back. Jim Everett, 42 days, no fee. 
42 days. Next one's coming from Pittsburgh, PA. Hey, 92-year-old former reliever. 17 seasons, Elroy Face, one, two, three, and four on that vintage wax. 61 tops, 60, what, 66 tops and 68 tops. And then this 94, I think, upper deck throwback card. 4-4, four, four, Elroy Face. He's 92 years old, folks. He was a great reliever when relievers really weren't in vogue. I just got him back recently on a Sports Illustrated magazine, so you've heard his story before from me. But he kind of revolutionized the relief pitching game back when relief pitchers were not really in vogue. You know, starters were expected to pitch the complete games back then. And relief pitchers were really like um, starters who had gotten injured and kind of worked their way back to the playing field, so they moved them to the bullpen for a while, but he was a full-time reliever, 193 saves in his day, and he was the first major leaguer to save more than 20 games more than one time in his career, and uh, he led the league in saves three times. He was second twice, so that's, him, that, that's top two five different times, but when he retired in 69, um, he held the record for games pitched 846 until 1986. Career saves, 193 until 1982, and then innings pitched in relief over 1,200 until 1983. So you see, he really did revolutionize the relief pitching game until the early to mid-80s when the game just changed a whole bunch. Six-time All-Star, World Series champ in 1960. Amazingly quick return, five days, no fee. He's 92 years old. Wow. All right, last number five. This is coming from Kansas City. It's a one card, and it's a Hall of Famer. Bobby Bell. Hey, man, that's awesome. 79-year-old former linebacker. Ooh, 12 seasons, 63 to 74, all with the Kansas City Chiefs. Hall of Famer Bobby Bell. Three times in the Pro Bowl after they made it to the NFL. Before that, he was a six-time AFL All-Star. So that's nine consecutive years he made the Pro Bowl one way or another, AFL or NFL. NFL Defensive Player of the Year, 1969. He's on the 1970s All-Decade Team. Super Bowl champion, Super Bowl IV. College Football Hall of Fame. Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1983. He was voted number 66 in the top 100 football players of all time. Guy was a heck of a player. So that's it. Pretty quick video for five returns, but that got that back in 32 days. There is a $5 fee. There's some dispute about how much Bobby Bell charges. Could be five, could be 10. I think I put a $5 bill in here is what my notes say. So he may sign cards for $5 and photographs for 10, I'm assuming. Anyhow, great returns, that's five. Got um, Juan Gonzalez back, 25 days, no fee. Scott Case, 10 days, no fee. Jim Everett, 42 days, no fee. Elroy Face, five days, no fee. And Bobby Bell, 32 days, $5 fee. That's it, guys and gals. I appreciate you watching. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Uh, shoot me an email. It'll be in the description below if you don't want to leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscription, that rectangle. Then you hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified of all my future videos. But that's it for now. Guys and gals, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.